I'm here to share the good news about the Lord Jesus Christ. As a child, I went to St. Peter's Church in Bishopsworth. I have always had respect for Jesus, but was led astray for many years until I turned back to the Bible in 2022. For reading and studying the Bible, I realised my former life was misguided and wanted to be purified of sin. Reading from 1 John, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. I prayed to God based on this verse and began to inquire about baptism. In the Bible, Peter says, repent and be baptised every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Sin is described as transgression of the law of God and rebellion against God. To repent means turning away from sin and trusting in God. This is my new and better life. In Paul's letter to the Romans, he writes, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Christ's suffering and dying on the cross for us demonstrates God's love for us. Only through Christ the Son can our relationship with God the Father be restored. So I ask Jesus Christ to be my Lord and Saviour. Now I study the Bible, pray, try to serve and love others. I try to be patient at work and be friendly to customers and colleagues. People know I go to church and I pray for salvation, eternal spiritual deliverance. Also in the book of Romans, Paul writes, if you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. <clears throat> we are saved from God's judgment of sin and enter the kingdom of God. Supporting food banks, nature groups and helping at church are also my way of serving the Lord, although we cannot earn salvation. We are saved solely by the work of Christ, his death and resurrection. We receive our Saviour by faith. Apostle Paul says, those who have true faith in Jesus Christ will be eager to do good works we were created to do good works baptism is a symbol of union with christ and entry into his church the significance of baptism originates in the death of jesus who died in our place to pay for our sins jesus triumphed over death through his resurrection securing for us new life in the spirit and eternal life forever with god I pray that the Holy Spirit guides us. God guides us by his spirit. There is always hope, even in the darkest times, because Jesus has risen again, and so will God's children. The God of peace be with you all. Amen. Thank you. Mark, a verse for you from Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. That is gloriously true of you because of Jesus. Mark, do you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that he died to save you from your sin? Yes. Do you turn from your sin and promise to follow him day by day, obeying him as Master and Lord? Yes. So in your confession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.